G'day guys, Tom from Bushy's Projects here. Today we're uh, making a video of the old railway spikes getting turned into new pieces of usable art. We're based down here in Port Elliot up on Hill Street. Fortunately, I can't have people come in the shop, but our factory is here. It's just me, one man band. Support us, jump on Bushy's Projects um, Instagram page. Little family run business down here on the Clearo Peninsula. We're going to be privileged. Tom's going to show us how they go from the uh, heating up stage to the banging out stage <laughs> on the anvil and cutting down the excess for the blade uh, to polishing off on a wire brush. All in a matter of uh, half an hour, I think, in total. Turn this uh, old railway spike into a bottle opener, is that correct? Yep. Just watch the transformation once it's all happens. Well, that spike's just gone in. Let's see what happens. Look at that. Hey, wouldn't that give you a sore neck? <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Look at that. Yeah, I'm going to grab that. Nice and even. Yeah, the heat's coming off at a wheel, too. Oh, you can feel it, yeah. and railway spike.
a spot going down the front of your t shirt. <laughs> like it? Yeah, little bird. Look but at all. You can, you can play this. I think it'll uh, make it. Stand by that for people to feed it. You're never hanging, just trying to get it off. Your hand's right up, really hot. Pop it in the water. All that oxide layer, it's all naked out. Yeah. Oh, those splits. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this, this, there's a lot of stuff. You chuck your bottle over and uh, get a yellow one. Look at that. Yeah, there's a water. Oh, this is how we're going to do the uh, colour. Um, I'll have to clean it up on the wheel first. The colour wheel. Look at that. Yeah. Spike into a beautiful knife. And we got the, we're getting to see this all done. Thanks again, Tom. This is awesome. Any of you guys interested in uh, got a hobby like this? It can be made with handmade equipment.
adjustments. Get that nice and straight. See those, once you've got that right temperature, it's all, this is carbon steel, it's all flaking off like scales on the outside. Now, Tom is just doing some realignment, get that nice and straight. It's going to come it's out. It's going to get it close, it's straightening it out Yep. I mean, that's how the uh, samurai saws get their natural curve. Process of even making that block of steel for it is unbelievable. You can take a, an apprentice samurai maker 20 years, I think, before he's allowed to even sharpen the blade. Now, Pushy, Tom, Pushy, punching up the, uh, the, beer, the beer bottle opener. Look at that. Just on a Y wheel. That's going to make the, the colour really pop. So and the shine steel. So now we're going to get the. Uh, what do you actually call that? Tempered colours. Look at this. So I'm, thanks a lot, mate. Uh, that's all good. This is uh, you guys. this is going to be awesome. Looking forward Here we to go. Uh, change colour. Might have to flip it around. Look at that. Oh, you Ooh, on the dirt, mate. Yeah, Lucky right. you didn't have it on your boot. Right. <laughs> Safety boots. Oh, look at the tank. But it's not quite. Look at that. Pretty cool, I think. One, two, three. There we go. Yeah. Look at that. Now in the water you go. coming through as well. Let's just give it a bit more on top. That's amazing how you get these sort of rainbow textures as such. There we go. And stop. That's <laughs> it. Now he stops it from changing colour again. Yeah, for a rest. Now look at that. You've got your coppery bronze look and, and uh, what do you call that? Black? Navy blue. Yeah, but they're copper, bronze, navy blue, it's unreal, unbelievable. And now we're going to cool it off. And after that, give it a coat of uh, lacquer. And it's finished. It's amazing. Look at that. Back to the railway spike knife. Look at that. I bent the tip while I was cutting around. Oh, there you go. So these, you've got a bit of leeway with these, they don't break like a normal knife would out of the quench. I didn't realise how loud all this, this process was. Usually I've got headphones on the whole time. You've got one drop or Yeah, I want to talk to you blokes, so. Alright, we'll give this a quick, uh, quick last over and. Um... I'm going to give it a, a rough edge on it. There you have it. 
The near finished product. Halfway. Halfway. <laughs> These beautiful finishes. Tempered coloured. Tempered coloured. On a, on a right old railway spike that's probably 100 years old, made out of carbon steel. They will rust if they get wet. That's why you put a coating of clear over it, stop any rust coming through. But you can you use these to cut with. Some colours come through once Tom places it in the water. Just yeah, checking, nice. checking the colour on now. Once uh, all this comes with experience, there we go. Here it's going. Coating. Yeah, nice because they are carbon steel, they will rust. That's right. Yeah. So not stainless, so. Just look at those beautiful bronze textures and copper look. Just absolutely beautiful. Absolutely so guys, go to the uh, Instagram site, Bushy's Products, established 1919, and you can get yourself, if you're in Handoff, South Australia, go to home unique facebook page i'll uh, show a photo of home unique and uh, you can purchase one of these at the shop or probably online made with the love each and every one of them Here you got nice butter knives the pate knife From that to that, unbelievable. 